Well, I just put out a new video on Wednesday on how if Ukraine would ever rebuild the massive AN-225, they would need to use what was left of the original 225 and parts of her 70% complete sister ship in storage. Well, sadly now, images of the war-damaged Maria confirm that the Antonov 225 has indeed been completely destroyed. While the status of the iconic six-engine freighter had remained unclear for several days after the damage was first reported from Ukraine, new images from the site reveal the total devastation to the iconic aircraft. Antonov had stated that until the aircraft had been inspected, it was unable to report on its technical condition. But new images from a Russian television report at Gostomel Airport clearly show the AN-225's forward fuselage, cockpit, and right wing have suffered irreparable damage. But Antonov says that the dream of Maria will never die. And I believe Antonov. And I believe they will be able to cobble together enough old and new parts, as well as manufacture brand new parts and engines for this iconic aircraft to keep the dream alive. But first, there is a much more pressing issue facing the world. Will there be anyone left alive in Ukraine to make that dream come true?